We need to protect this party. If really you are a genuine UPND who suffered with UPND, you were arrested genuinely, then don't campaign this party UPND. The biggest opposition today is not the opposition. It is among ourselves the UPND and has to come to a stop now. I'm warning every youth, every member of UPND, either national management, province, everywhere, I'm saying no to it. It is us, yes, the young people, who voted and make sure that Aka NDHM is in the state house. So let's not destroy what we have created ourselves, but we need to give support. You may have a genuine reason, but the way you put it. We understand, I've said, I've traveled in eight provinces, talking to each other, looking about opportunities, how we should handle the situation. It's not about only UPND members. It's about the nation here. We need to understand as a nation, as a party, that it's about now also the nation should, should benefit from this, guy, from this government. And no one has said that the UPND, because it is us who formed the government, then you're not going to benefit. You have a right to go and benefit from this, provided we do things in a legal way. So I'm emphasizing to my fellow youths across the country that attacking leaders, I'm saying no to it. We know them. Those are Katanklas, we know them, all of us. It's just a matter of calling them and talking to them. But if you attack your own political party, then what do you try to achieve? If you want a job, tell us you want a job, you'll be given at the right time. Mango si pirapanga tipa moze. That is a fact. So where God blesses us, don't bless us all every day, all of us at one time, no. He gives us at a particular time. So it is a responsibility. Me as a national youth chairman, when I'm seeing things, they want to go in or wrong, I'm saying no to it because I know how you people, my fellow youths, suffered in opposition. Other fellow youths today are still in prison. The pain which every is going through, that's the pain I'm going through also. I've got pressure here. Within the same system, people want to be promoted. The journalists, some of you want to get the job. We know, and we are saying things will be given to you because you suffered with us. It is your government. But at the right time, it's only four or five months. Unless you don't understand what PF government did in the 10 years. It damaged this country. So it needs leaders to put things in order. Let's complain after one year can agree with everybody. I understand the changing of government, almost 4,500 jobs. These are direct jobs. But if you follow very much, not even 800, Mr. Haka has reached in terms of employing people. This, 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 these are the facts, all of us. I am not saying that we have not made any mistake from the time we have formed the government. There are mistakes which we have made as a party. But all these things, we are sitting down, all of us, to ensure with the team, the same constituencies, the district, the province, we are trying our best. <clears throat> That's why I was saying the calmness we are seeing in this country is not by chance. Not that we are cowards. But I don't want to see people inciting my fellow youths to rise against his own political party. I'm saying no to it. I'm appealing to you, the youths across the country, that it is your own, which yourself you formed. And the Kainde is there for you. I don't think the president has forgotten all of us. I don't think so. I don't think so. He knows what we went through. He knows the problem with Zambian people. But we need to give him support as he put this house in order. Changing of government is not only a state house or the cabinet. No. It's trickled down at the local level. The PF you are going to find them, yes. When you talk about uniting and reuniting and rebuilding this country, what are you talking about? What are we talking about? Is to work together. It's not everybody who was bad in PF. But maybe, as a part, the issue of water melon and a real support, we haven't done it very well. And I want to say that the party now is looking to it. The people were watermelon, they were not in the forefront, they were not there, but they were quietly supporting UPN. Maybe in terms of appointment, other people, maybe we are, we are not talking to them. But I want to assure you that 
this message is already in the office of the SG and the chairman of the party, how to tackle these matters now. How do we move forward? Because even the other side, others are crying to say you have betrayed us. We support you quietly, but today we are being pushed away. So these are the things which we are seeing that we are passing through as a party, as leaders, to ensure that everybody is there. I think Chairman Province, in your province, here with the constituents, first of all, I want to say that no one should be allowed now. I've been seeing, watching people, this one gone the media with no any position, just talking nonsense and harassing even civil servant has to come to an end. Let's not go in the way the people are behaving. Stop it. Let's stop it. It's because the people of Zambia wanted to see sanity. We can't continue doing the same, all of us. Chairman province and all the provinces today, I want to appreciate you because for the first time in the history of this country that you have held the youth all together. It's not uneasy when you have bitter youths, hungry youths who are listening to you. It's not an easy job. that even the PF today, they are working freely wherever they have gone. Even criminals, they are working freely. They are able even to criticize the government of the day. But I want to make it very clear today that if you attack Hakainde Chirema, the present person, this goes to you, my colleagues in PF. If you attack Hakainde Chirema, the president, as an individual, who will attack you as an individual. Take it very lightly to me as Gilbert Reswanius as mosquito now. Yes. I've been watching you, listening you, attack the government. And I will encourage you to attack the government, criticize the government by the things which you see that you are not doing rightly. But if you are going to insult Director Akainde Chilem, who beat you, I'm not joking here. I don't need even the police to come in. Yes. I never depend on the police when you're in opposition. We depend on our own. Yes. You attack a kind of director as an individual, come to direct as an individual. Just attack the government, attack UPND, attack a kind as a president. But if you go as an individual, I'm telling you, you won't even walk freely in Osaka, wherever you are going. And you stop it. I've said, time of taking people to the police, not now, because of defaming, no. We'll just follow you up and teach you a lesson. We were in the opposition, some of us. I never insulted Mr. Edgar Chagwarongo. The only thing I disagreed as a youth chairman in the opposition was to recognize his presidency. It's because the constitution or the court could not give us an answer in 2016 election. And that was not only us, it was the party itself. But this government has been voted as a majority Zambian people. So, I'm telling you, my colleagues, I want to mention your names in PF. You know yourselves. Enjoy your freedom, criticize the government, but if you go personal now, I know you've got money, but I'll tell you that the UPND youths, they're too hungry. And they are angry. And they are bitter. Stop that nonsense. This is a good advice I'm giving to you. Today, all my fellow youths across the country who had issues, medical reports, docket. There is no docket in any police officers today. So we know the criminals, all of you, where you are. So when ourselves, we are trying by all means to talk to our fellow youths to forgive and to forget to forge ahead. And then you, you have been forefront to cry as if something is, the UPND is, it, it, it is harassing you. I'm not going to agree with that one. I've told you today that we will bite you. Just criticize the government. We have allowed you to criticize the government. But if you go personal to Againde Chilem, I will go personal to you and I will regret at the end of the day. And the message is very clear to the youths now. Anyone who goes personal to the Againde Chilem, I will go personal to you. It ends there. Let's do politics. We don't want to see a situation which happened during PF regime. We want people to speak, speak your mind, whatever you want to speak. Do your politics, do your mobilization. We have never followed you. You are working freely. 
but don't go further again to torture the UPND. It's not by mistake to see this piece we are seeing here. It is because we leaders, we are talking to them. And I want to appeal to the people of Zambia that even if a small incident is happening, you want to paint black the UPND. That's not fair. Let's appreciate the UPNDs across the country, what they have done. They have tried by all means to ensure there is peace in this country. By listening to their leader, especially the president, Akainde Chilem. It's not by mistake. They can cause havoc and confusion. So inciting them is not a good way to do. My fellow youths in UPA, they need total counseling. It's not a joke. I'm saying this because it is in our hearts. So this message goes to you, the PF, to understand what you did to UPA and it was bad than what UPA is doing to you. So understand that there are total there is counseling here. As I conclude, there are thieves today. The president is aware that there are thugs within our compounds. Those who are stealing daylight in the markets and bus stations, now they are terrorizing the community. These thieves were getting money in the markets and bus stations. Daylight were stealing, blessing by the government, by PF. Today they have changed now. They are all over in the compounds, in the bus stations, they are now beating people and robbing people. We are saying, and the president is aware, and is saying very soon you may see the recruitment or even other persons to come and beef up the support in our communities. Because these things now, it is bad, which we want not to see. And these criminals now, it is upon ourselves also as use of UPND to ensure that we identify these thieves all over compounds because they are terrorizing people. I want to say this to the people of Zambia that Kawata, there will be free and fair election. No violence. We won't engage in any violence in, Kanya, in, in Kawata. We are going there to campaign. We want to see the real change of campaign. We have a responsibility ourselves as a party officials to ensure that we speak to the voters there. So the people themselves, they can make a decision. No one will bring violence there. But I'm warning those who are brutalizing. Those guys from Kamgod, you know yourselves, intercity, don't enter Kawa, just stay home. Let genuine PF members of, to go and campaign. You know yourself, don't just enter there. This time now, I've come to see that when you toilet certain things, you continue doing it. It is time we put the house in order. And I've said, even in opposition, we never depend on the police. We depend on our own. The PF should know that you have to bring soldiers after election because of UPN. So we don't want that. You are small boys. To us, you know it. So if you know that you are committing crimes in the past regime PF, don't stay away from Kawata. I'm telling you these things honest, in a good way, as your colleague, as your friend, as a politician. If you know that you're a criminal, don't go there. You know what you're doing. You go there, it's up to you. Whatever happens, it's up to you. Because we know in all these police stations, there is no docky or dockets. Now the youths, they will hunt for you. So stay home, I just to counseling my fellow youths to understand that it's a past. Give me chance, I counsel my fellow youths now. Stay away from Kawat. I've told you. Don't say I never honed you. Uh -uh, I've told you. Chairman Province and your fellow province across the country, it is time we take charge to ensure things are moving now in a good way. No one should incite the youths of UPND whatever they want to be given to them at the right time. The issue of cooperative limited companies have come to stay. 
If you don't want to make a cooperative, a limited company, it's up to you. There's no negotiable on that one. We know there is a fight between big businessmen and other greedy people, selfish people who doesn't want cooperative and limited companies. They are fighting it, but we are saying it has come to stay. We want real empowerment to our fellow youths across the country. And that's the demand of a national youth chairman to the leadership of the party and to the president. We want cooperatives and limited company to be given to us and also we participate in the development of this country. Either money or no money, we are going to participate, all of us. It is us who deliver this government. So we know the situation is very hard. I want to tell the people of Zambia that it's being fought, but we are going to implement it. Collective, it's a process. I thank you. May the good Lord bless you, all of you. Okay. Um...